Officials here at the Plainfield Correctional Facility tell us tonight that people try all the time using new ways to get illegal things inside of the facility. Right now what they're doing is trying to wrap up drugs or other illegal items in makeshift packages using duct tape, then throwing them right over into the facility. A towering metal fence covered in barbed wire and guards posted on several lookout towers may look intimidating. It's a prison. You know, it's manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But officials say the high security is not stopping people from trying to sneak illegal items into the Plainfield Correctional Facility. It doesn't matter how many people you have, they're going to find a way to get the stuff they want. In just the past month, police arrested these four people in two different instances. Both times the suspects drove right onto the grounds and tried to toss packages filled with drugs and other illegal items over the fence. Some landed within reach of inmates. The area that the stuff happens to land in is an area where there are offenders that move through that area. There are people there watching them and that, but when you're moving, you know, 40, 50 guys at a time or more, you know, it, it sometimes, you know, you can you know, they do things to distract you or whatever. This is not the first time officials have caught people throwing drugs, cell phones, and contraband over the fence. They say it happens at least once a month. It's one of those things that, you know, we, we constantly battle on a daily basis. They try to get it in, we try to keep it out. It's just one reason prison officials are making new security changes to stop trafficking. In just the past month, officials have actually blocked off this stretch of road here at the Plainfield Correctional Facility, hoping that stops visitors and other people from getting close to the fencing and trying to throw items right over. They thought they were able to going to be able to continue to do it and, you know, didn't realize that some changes have been made and, you know, they're now finding out that it's not as easy as what they originally thought it was going to be. Right now, officials are still working to find out which inmates were communicating with the suspects to drop off the drugs, check if any guards were involved, and will continue to closely monitor the inside and outside of the prison. As officials continue to add more security measures to try and stop people from trafficking with inmates here, they're also reminding the public that if they try and attempt to throw things over into the facility or bring them into inmates, they'll be behind bars themselves. Reporting tonight at the Plainfield Correctional Facility, I'm Alexis McAdams. Back to you.